but we'll break it. And we'll have a run ourselves. Can he go all the way? Catch me if you can. Touchdown. Row, row, row your boat. What's going on, Godzilla Nation? This is our Godzilla. Welcome back to another installment of Madden 20 Face of the Franchise. Thank you for joining me, as always. We downed the Titans last game. This game, we got the Jags at home. But let's get a player upgrade going before we kick things off. And we've also got a challenge that has been thrown down to us as well. Which route do we go? Field General's been the one we've been dumping it in lately. I think we'll stick with it. There we go. Give us a little bit more accuracy on the medium and short throws. Happy with how everything else has panned out so far. 93 overall. Man, I can't wait to line up across from you this week. We've got four down linemen about to pounce on you like starving wolves. We ain't going to call it a day until there's nothing left of you. Kalei Campbell laying down the gauntlet. I think we're going to do something a little different here. Let's do the praise route. I haven't done that in a while. Dude, it's going to be a fun matchup. I love the way you approach the game and I'm ready to embrace the challenge. You're going to be embracing the turf when I'm done with you. Get ready. I should have intimidated him. Let's get the game underway. God damn it. But as always, unofficially sponsored by EA Sports, bringing you today's matchup, we have the Jaguars taking on the Raiders. Good old, uh... Jalen Ramsey from the Jags, one of my favorite defensive young players to watch in the game. Can he shut down Antonio Brown? I'm going to assume that's going to be the matchup. But we're at home again. The fixturing this season has been in our favor. We haven't had to travel all that often, and we've had huge strings of games at home. I'm assuming that's because the Raiders are relocating to Las Vegas. I'm actually very curious to see whether we stay on with the Raiders after this season if we do relocate to Las Vegas. I think that'd be good. Here comes your quarterback, Raiders. Get around him. Speaking of relocating, I am thinking of doing a relocation rebuild little mini-series where we take a team, relocate them, trade off some of the older players, bring in some youth, all that stuff. Let me know whether you'd be keen on seeing that, and if so, let me know which team you think I should rebuild from the ground up. I think the obvious choice would be the Chargers, considering we've already got a Los Angeles team. We don't need two teams out of LA, but I'll leave it up to you. Ball is now in our possession. The Jags didn't manage to do much with it on their first drive. It looks like they want us to get the running game going against the Jags this week. So let's see if Doug Martin can restore some faith because uh, I gave him chances last week. And believe it or not, he has already picked up more yards in one run than he picked up the entire attempt I gave him last game. He finished with a negative 10 yards in our hit out and so far I thought he was going to run outside and get a touchdown then but he's picked up 23 yards see he is the most inconsistent player I have ever seen be it a video game or not he either picks up 10 or he loses 10 I still think we need to target an A grade halfback when it comes to the draft or the trade period that's just me see there you go that's the Doug Martin we've come to appreciate Let's get the throwing game going. I've given him his chances. He's got a decent amount of running yards so far. Time to throw the ball around, I think. They knew I was going to go to Antonio. They've been watching the play tape. Okay, Brown. This is what I need from you. Need a 15-yard pickup. And then a little bit more. Thank you very much. 20 yards, first and 10, well within striking distance to get our first touchdown on the board. It's coming. Can you feel it? I should have gone in the middle. 
what can we get going here? Okay. They shut the curl down early. Can we get the curl done now? Yes, we can. Touchdown, Raiders. Row, row, row your boat to Antonio Brown. Touchdown. Easy as pie. Put it in the books. We've managed to get the ball back in a very good position to score yet again. Antonio Brown's coming up with the big plays early, making up for the incomplete passes. Three receptions for 52 yards. Ty Aaron Rodgers' 2011 single season touchdown record. The next touchdown we throw is touchdown number 45, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Gresham. He had a decent game last week. Making history yet again. Who is going to be on the receiving end of touchdown number 45? We've got to go to Antonio, right? But, but we're going to go inside instead. There it is. The record has been tied, provided nobody else holds the next record, the next touchdown pass we throw officially has our name put in the history books again. The Jags strike back with a touchdown of their own. Okay Martin, pick up some yardage. That's a big time play. He's, he's just picked up enough yards there for me to not pass him the ball for the rest of the series. And then he comes out and does that. Martin, Martin, Martin. Okay, Rashad. It's time. Need you to pick up some yardage. Antonio Brown's longer. Should have gone to Rashad. Should have gone to Rashad, but I saw that Brown had broken into a bit of space and got excited. Okay. If Brown can go deep, he's the option, but Renfro's the safe bet, I think. God damn! And we'll punt it away. Backs against the wall on our own 45. Big time hit on Gresham, but he manages to maintain possession. Okay. Gresham gets us a first down here. But we'll break it. And we'll have a run ourselves. Can he go all the way? Catch me if you can. Touchdown. Row, row, row your boat. He even pointed to, he said, check this out, you bastard. I'm about to run in for a touchdown. Let's have a look at it again. Breaks the tackle. And away he goes. That is probably the single biggest play I have done by my own two feet this entire series. And they strike back with a touchdown of their own. What a play. That was huge. First down. First down. Second in inches. Ryan Grant's been coming up in the slot a little bit for us when we've needed him. I'm actually impressed with Williams and Grant. The good old fumble twins. Too bad I couldn't complete the pass there. I probably should have just stepped it over the line myself. Intended for Antonio Brown. Incomplete. He was defended by Jalen Ramsey. 
we give Jalen Rashad a chance? Okay, Rashad. I just need you to catch the ball. Get me a first down. Oh! And then pick up a little bit more. My man Rashad. See, he's the halfback we need. He should be our primary halfback. Jalen Ramsey seems to be in the zone. He's got his X-Factor ready, so we've got to very much keep an eye on that matchup with Antonio Brown. How can he be diving and making... Nah. Shouldn't have been able to interfere in that play. Brown had way too much space on him. Let's go for a run ourselves. Let's shut down his game. up with here. Dig and go. Alright, so at least his X Factor is gone, but that's that's fine because we're gonna go to Rashad anyway. My man coming up with the first down again. There's just some players you gotta put your faith in. Rashad's one of them. Okay Grant Grant out the back! Dropped just before the end zone. I thought he was about to take that in for a touchdown. Ten point lead. They took the opportunity to put a field goal on. I thought hitting the timeout would have given me a chance to throw for a touchdown, but I was wrong. Here we go. This is where Antonio Brown can start lighting it up again. Take advantage of the fact that Jalen Ramsey's running a little bit cold. Cornell is now in the zone too, which is even better for the Raiders. Didn't pick up much there, did he? No, he, he lost the yard. Okay, Gresham. Make way for me, bud. I threw it to him because it said he was open, but I should have gone to Gresham. He made more space. Misplay, misplay. Okay, Gresham here for the first down. Unless Brown can get into space. But Gresham's probably the safer bet. Damn it, I fumbled! Big time loss. Gresham was getting double teamed. I wanted to wait for Brown to get into space. They just cramped it down. Still 10 points our way. Did I just say cramp it down? I meant clamp it down. Ramp it down. God damn it. Slide. If I've got to start moving our offense by my own foot, I'll do it. Brown for a first. Grant's running a little bit deeper. There's a flag. I think it's going to be against our offensive line. Trent Brown. Every time there is an illegal man downfield, it is Trent Brown. You'd think he'd learn. Gresham gets us the first down, though. Plucked it from Antonio Brown again. A little bit of back and forth between these two all, all season. Antonio makes space and Gresham comes in and just plucks it. That's another first down. You'd think they'd shut him down. He only picks up small little plays, but he is so crucial to our offensive line.
Let's run the outside. Go all the way. I would argue he uh, knocked that pile on over and that might be a touchdown, but uh, we know different. Who are we going to go to here? Almost a pick in the end zone. That would have been disastrous. I'm feeling Antonio Brown, but Renfro would be one to get on the board. We've got to come up with a touchdown here, surely. Come on. Not again. You're kidding. We'll have to take the three points. 13 point ball game. That was very disappointing. And I've just thrown it straight down his throat. Can I catch him? Get here, you bastard. God damn it. Back to six points. Not the start that we wanted for this term. This has shades of the last game all over it. Tennessee were in touch well within the last few minutes after uh, fading away for most of the game. And the Jags have done the exact same thing. They've just amped up the pressure in the last couple of minutes. That's a big gap. Slide. We've got to connect here. And Jalen Ramsey's on fire, so, uh, Gresham. We just need to hold on. Stem the flow. Right up the middle. Good reception. But he has injured himself again. Not the point in time we would like to have him going down, especially with this game still well and truly in the balance. Uh-oh. I should have ran. I know I should probably be throwing this ball away, but just before I get sacked, but... I don't know. I haven't thrown a ball away all season. Why would I start now? I thought he had that. Ramsey dropped him on his ass! We've got to come up with something here, otherwise we're in... Big trouble. We're at a huge risk. Put the block on! Why didn't you block? Don't score. Thank God for that. And we are within striking range. Jalen Ramsey's cooled off as well, which is even more pivotal to this play. Two minute warning. Six points up. Parted like the Red Sea. Familiar names popping up here that could come up with a score. There's a touchdown. Oh, there it is. He came back on. 
Didn't even realise it was him until they brought it up. Jermaine Gresham coming in with a touchdown. Injury mustn't have been as bad as first thought. And they want us to take the two-point play. Which we failed to convert. It is a 12-point ball game. Let's just get them to run down their last time out. Beautiful. Get a first down. I think I can do that, coach. Can we get another score on the board, or is this going to be the final score line? Minute 26 left on the clock. Let's go for a run. And a bit of a slide. 101 yards by foot. There we go, Brown. There we go, Brown. Can we sneak it in by foot? Oh, God damn. We'll call timeout. We'll call the timeout. Four seconds left. Let's see what we can come up with. Brown's probably the only viable option here. And he gets dropped just before the end zone. There you go. Final score line. 12 points the way of the Raiders. Play of the game was definitely that run. Two hundred and twenty two passing yards, hundred and forty five yards by foot. Unhappy that we had the uh, the fumble and the interception. First time we've done that in a little while. But that's another win on the board. Sixty six point six percent completion rate. But furthermore, we accepted the challenge. We got the challenge done. Ramsey played a very good shutdown role on Brown at pivotal points in that game. But when you're running cold, you're running cold. Let's see what the good old uh, Calais has to say about that. I don't think he'd be very impressed. Alright, defensive end. What have you got for me? Do you think he's going to be pissed? Who thinks he's going to be pissed? I think he's going to be a bit pissed. Man, I've made a career out of feasting on quarterbacks, but you were like an all-you-can-eat buffet today. Your block has really let you down, huh? But hey, you got to give yourself props. You played well enough to win, and in this league, that's the only thing that matters. Ah. So you still managed to rub it in my face. I'll take the win any day. You can sack me all you want. We still managed to get the win. What's that say about your defensive line? Regardless, ladies and gentlemen... That wraps up this video. Thank you for joining me as always when we return. It is the second last match of the season. We are taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. It goes a long way to supporting myself and I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. If you're new to the channel, plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you happen to enjoy what I'm throwing down, pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by hitting that subscribe button. Description down below. Not only will you find social media links, if you don't follow me on Facebook or Twitter yet, go and do so, it'd be hugely appreciated. 
You will also find the Madden 20 Face of the Franchise playlist so you can catch up on any episodes you might have missed out on. Hit that notification bell before you leave so each and every time something brand new hits the channel, you guys get notified straight away. But that's it from me guys, I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.